Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Other Dimensions. So I've let this run go overnight. It's been almost a day since the start of last episode, and I can buy so many time theorems. It's way more than I thought. I'm just going to hit buy max here so I can get that, which helps a little bit. And then just checking that... Yeah. So I'm going to Eternity, and then... I'm going to buy a time theorem, get this. And so now I have a complete tree. But I can also get your achievement bonus effects time dimensions. There's so many things. The thing is, I could either get time theorems or this upgrade, which is expensive, or time dimensions. The thing is, I can't get that many time dimensions. Um... I don't know what to do. I'll just get the, the time dimensions for now. And we'll do a long run. I think it's the first time I've ever got this time study, but this upgrade, the new time dimensions, and these two studies will help. And um, instead of doing another run, I'm actually going to do something, because the next part of the game is Eternity Challenges. We're getting close to that. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm Eternities. So I'm going to respect my tree and go into an Eternity Farming build. So now we can get a complete tree. See, so best build for Eternity Farming, and I'll tell you what that is in a minute, is this. Infinity Dimensions plus Active. And then... We want to set our Eternity Auto Buyer to 1 and turn it on. And we might want to set this to E150. And here's the thing. We've Eternityed 9,000 times. Let's try holding M here. And so our fast Eternity is in 0.39 seconds. This might not be the most efficient. Wait, I can try experimenting with that. It's a little bit faster. Um... The thing is, we, I want to get to 110,000, and that's because this upgrade has a soft this upgrade has a soft cap at 110,000. A soft cap is where there's like scaling and it slows down a lot. A hard cap is where it like can't go beyond a certain value. This upgrade has a soft cap at about 110,000. So this is surprisingly slow. What if we set this even lower? Sorry guys, a monster came and tried to attack me in real life. I'm back now, so um, I was going to say it's surprisingly slow, so I'm going to try tinkering with this, but it doesn't seem to be any faster. Maybe 1e75? This is slow. 1e100? I swear I'm using the right path. Um, This is weird. For the right paths. What about 1e300? Like, I do it in 1 infinity. I could use that and get it to try to get a, another achievement, actually. Um, I'm gonna do that, actually. Um, there's an achievement here. Eternity with only 1 infinity. Reward multiplier to infinity points based on infinities. So I'm going to, um... Wait, not respect, but I'm... I'm going to leave this on. Oh, I know what to do. I have to respect out of this study. It's annoying because I don't get to use that really good path, but it's okay. Um, I think I'm still going to use this build. Here we go. I'm going to... There we go. That's the achievement. So I'm going to go back to a normal build. So multiplier to infinity points. I don't know how good that is, but it might help. Let's try 1e300. See how this goes. It's like 1 every second. I think 1e150 might be good. Oh, yeah, 1e150 is best. So we have to get to 110,000. Um, so, yeah. I will... Um. 
I don't know what to do because, I mean, if I just wait until there, that would mean that this episode would have to wait until tomorrow. Um, of course, um, I could just do another run, but this is the point of the game where you want to farm eternities. It will also give me a boost, so the next, um, run will be more powerful, so... Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Wait, guys, one more thing. Another reason why we're farming Eternities is because the requirement for Eternity Challenge 1 is 20,000 Eternities. Um, so, I wanted to talk to you about how Eternity Challenges work. So, basically, um, once you get a requirement and you have enough time theorems, you can get a time study which unlocks an eternity challenge and then you can do that eternity challenge and then it will respec your studies and the requirement for that eternity challenge will increase but so will the goal and the reward and um so um you can there are like five com like levels of each eternity challenges um also known as completions so um, we're gonna have to do a lot of those as there's like lots of different combinations and there are 12 of them um so you basically find eternity challenges scattered around the study tree so yeah that's how they work so um currently farming eternities so i will see you guys later bye and tomorrow um, and in tomorrow's episode, I'll have 110,000. So, yeah. Bye.